Welcome back to Stooge Club. I am your host, The Stooge. It's been a touch of time. I have been a little bit unwell, but that's okay because we're bouncing back and we've got a whole lot of stuff to show off. We have Star Wars toys. We've got Marvel toys, Ninja Turtles. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, comic books. GameCube games, Star Wars books, Batman stuff, some Pokemon. There is so much stuff. So geeks, gamers, sweaties that still live at home in their mom's basements and toy collectors, let's kick this off. Now, I'm not sure if I showed these in the last two episodes, the last episode. This is going to G Banks. This is a 1998-99 uh, Squirtle toothbrush holder, I believe. So that is pretty cool. And... This thing that does this thing. Okay, that thing. So they're going to banks, they cost me one, one pound for both of them. So that was a pretty good score. Uh, there was 11 of these left. Uh, so I figured why not just buy them. There's 10 in the set. I doubt I will get the whole set. These are the Star Wars collectors pack series one uh you can get lightsaber pencil holders you can get uh key rings you can get little mini figures and we got the box so that is pretty cool we're going to be opening them up soon something else we're going to be opening up we got 24 of the mini bubble uh bubble head Funko Mystery Mini Avengers Age of Ultron figures. These have gone down to 99p. Instead of being like, I think they were $3.99. They're 99 now. So uh, yeah, I bought two boxes of them. Something we can open up on the channel a little bit later on. Speaking of things to open on the channel. These were also 99p. Uh, there's 28 left. So I bought the box. Now, what have we learned from watching this channel in the past? If something's on sale and you're going to buy them all, ask if you can have the box, especially a display box like this, because it comes with two free figures. So I've already got Rocket and Groot. Now we just need the rest of them. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Pint Size Heroes. I'm looking forward to opening them. That's another Funko little item there. Went to the Disney store. They had some toy box on special. Now, I, I like the Disney Infinity figures, the uh, sort of design, the very cartoony design of classic characters. Toy Box is the same, but they have more articulation and actually look at probably even better. So I picked up a Ray for three pounds. And a Princess Leia for five. That's the only ones I had on sale. All the other Toy Box um, are like 15 to 25 pounds. I'm like... No. Uh, for a pound, I picked up a bunch of knockoff Transformers. These are awesome. I've actually seen these online. They're usually, you know, about a pound each shipped from China, wherever they make them. Um, so these are just little... Ah, that one's head doesn't even want to stay up. But these are little letters that turn into robots. So... Somebody here had a uh, N, U, I. So you can see I is a very basic bot there. Uh, w, is that a D, an E? Dunny, uh, I have no idea, but these are cool little knockoff toys, um, I like these, they kind of remind me of the new Transformers Bot Bots, if you've seen those, the little mini Transformers figures that are about this size, that are food, householdy items, that remind me of the McDonald's toys, kind of look like that. So we're, we're going to be talking about this place a lot, because uh, they're awesome. So my new favourite charity shop that hold stuff for me. They're amazing. Uh, they held me some stuff. So we got a Big Figs Jin Erso 
Star Wars Rogue One. I'm a fan of Rogue One. Her weapon's in there as well. So this isn't the giant, giant, like, huge, huge big figs. This is the 18-inch? Something like that. Really cool. By Jack Pacific. So they actually look like the people they're supposed to look like. They also held me a big figs Batman. Which is very, very awesome. Uh, there is more stuff from there coming up as well. So don't think we are quite done. Uh, in fact, I will reach over and grab three more items I got from there as well. Oh, so the Big Fix Batman was uh, three pounds. The Gin Erso was two pounds. This was a pound fifty. Batman Animated Series Batmobile. Also had two little rubber figures. Original 90s Batman the Animated Series figures, which is very cool. For a pound, we got a Rumbler. For another two pounds, we got the giant Rumbler that does all sorts of stuff and... You press it and it... And... Does that. So that was very cool. They hold all of this for me. So it it's amazing. Then today, uh, I got a call uh, asking if I'm interested in Doctor Who. Oh, wait, wait. These two as well. So a little spidey... For a pound, I don't know what series this one's from, and a Batman for a pound, so I got them from there as well. Uh, today, got a call, my wife went in, grabbed some more stuff which we're going to get to next, including this bag. Now I'm not into cars and things, so I was like, why did you grab this bag? It was a pound. And in it is Transformer, which is very cool and looks like it's complete. Yeah, all right, I'll figure out how to transform him later, but there you go. And a Mario Kart Princess Peach, which is awesome. And I don't know what this is, but this is cool. Um, No. Okay, this says 1965. Okay, 1965. I'm going to have to do some research on that one. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, yeah, scrap. Ah, uh, knock off. Oh, what's that? Uh, cars. Okay. Uh, made in China knockoff. Uh, another little Disney Cars piece. Another little Disney Cars piece. I'll keep them all together. We'll give them to someone. And this, is this chat me? I don't know, but it might fit a G.I. Joe. We'll try that out. Okay, so they can go together. This is all scrap and those cars. Okay, that we've got to work out what that is, 1965. That's interesting. That's interesting. If anyone knows, let me know. Okay, here is the, the bottom of it, if you can read it. It is very, very small. So, 1965. TMC something? 1965 and 19... 1990? No? I don't know. Is this Thunderbirds, maybe? Something? I don't know. It's cool. I like the looks of it. So, we'll hang on to that. Okay. Um, 
pound fifty lot. So this was just a a mixed lot of stuff I got for a pound fifty, and then another lot of stuff I got for fifty p. So this is two pounds in total for everything here. Starting with uh, this dude is this Borderlands. I think that's Borderlands. Uh, another one of those, except instead of Vader, it's Dooku. Uh, Action Man, that was supposed to be on a motorbike of some description. An Iron Man, that was supposed to be on a motorbike of some description. A Star Wars figure, that was supposed to be on a motorbike of some description. Uh, lion -O. A Hulk. Weird Hulk, it's got that articulation and that, but very, basically no head, and I know it's, it's weird, but it looks cool. Uh, little turtle, don't know what this is from, is this for play school turtles? Uh, Craven the Hunter, Marvel 500, Superhero Squad, Cyclops. Mysterio, Marvel 500, Superhero Squad, Punisher, uh, Lizard, Marvel 500, uh, Little Rubber, Bebop from the last Ninja Turtle series, I think, or the one before that, uh, a Spidey, this is older, if I remember. I don't know, but he's supposed to be holding on to something. So this is another one that's supposed to be on a vehicle of some description. But by the making stuff, this has to be Toy Biz, and it's probably 90s. Uh, and a Krang. Missing the, or the Krang robot body, missing the, the Krang inside, but that's still cool. Uh, this was pound fifty. Brand new Doctor Who Sonic Spork. This also comes from my new... Favorite charity shop. And speaking of Doctor Who, uh, this is something they called me about today. My wife went and picked it up because I wasn't feeling brilliant, so she did the work today, which is fantastic. Uh, for one pound fifty, so this is a toy display, which is very cool, very cool. But for three pounds, oh, I'm gonna be careful picking this up. I don't want to break it. The piece that is a stance of my Doctor Who collection now, which is quite small, but I do have a bunch of figures. So this is a TARDIS, uh, 11th Doctor, I believe. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is a store display because it's just very flimsy. So that is awesome. Uh, that was three pounds. Like I said, that's that's nothing. It is massive. All of my Doctor Who figures will fit on that. Now, also from there, for one pound, which I haven't even opened yet, uh, we got this Avengers tin box. And I believe this has got uh, some storybooks in it or something. Ah, the Avengers: The Beginning hardback. Uh, incredible coloring book, some stickers, a couple missing, some more stickers, some more stickers. Cool. I just like the tin and I can use that to store other stuff, but I kind of like the artwork on it. So that was cool. That was a pound for, uh, 99p. We got this ultimate Spider-Man clock. It's very cool, brand new in the packaging. Probably won't come out. I will probably just put that on my Marvel shelf. Uh, what else? Oh, those over there. Hang on one second. Speaking of Doctor Who, for three pounds in total, we got everything you're about to see next. So Doctor Who, Monsters and Villains. Doctor Who, The Central Guard, 50th Anniversary. 
Uh, Star Wars conviction novel. Come on, the rest of you things. Come over here. Star Wars New Jedi Order novel. Star Wars Cross Current. Star Wars Apocalypse. And this is a call. With Dave Grohl novel. That was all three pounds. And on to our last items here. Picked up a couple of comic books. And since we're on a Star Wars kick here, uh, Return of the Jedi issue three, uh, 1983, three pound, uh, two pounds, taking that all day long. Uh, two pounds, Double Dragon one. This is gonna be 94, 95, 91? Ooh, 91, earlier than I thought. Power Pachydermis. This is one of those Marvel What The Books. Ah, oh, that was two pounds as well. Avengers Spotlight 28, which is an Acts of Vengeance crossover. Hawkeye and Mockingbird, and then a uh, Wonder Man back up as well. Uh, Death's Head 2. These are, again, all two pounds. Uh, Death's Head 9. That's a cool cover. And this is a really cool cover. Uh, Death's Head 2 of 12. So I think this is after Death's Head 2. And Death's Head comes back. And then a couple of games. So we got uh, Mario Power Tennis to add to the GameCube collection. Because I don't have my GameCube collection here. And one that I never thought I'd actually own. But walked into a CEX and it was just sitting there. The price is more than ridiculously fair and if you're from overseas you're gonna know what i mean like this was a very very so for in for instance in australia this is like 150 pound 150 dollar game so that's about 75 80 pounds um on a good day on a bad day it can be more than that and i've heard stories of people paying like ridiculous money for this game so uh ikaruga complete for 38 pounds and that sticker isn't lying so how it says new. It's um it's brand new. So I'm yeah, I love shooters. And now I own Ikaruga, which is awesome. I didn't don't even have that in my GameCube collection in Australia, which will eventually arrive here. But in the for the time being, who cares? I've got Ikaruga. So that is my pickups for this episode. We had Doctor Who, we had Marvel, we had Star Wars, we had comic books, we had video games, we had toys galore. What more could you ask for? So until next time, folks, I've been your host, The Stooge. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget adventure, excitement. Stooge craves not these things. Welcome to the Stooge Revolution. This is Stooge Club.